Two and two last week on the sure things. Hey, anytime you can get your money back, Monopoly money or otherwise, it's a good thing. Noah Kosloff making the picks. Dennis Maniloff, Cleveland.com, Cleveland Plain Dealer. Some of these games, Dennis, I, I can't even believe that you're going to watch this dreck. And that starts with the Rams-Giants game in London. You're going to wake up that early to watch this? Uh, not necessarily, but I'm putting them <laughs> down as a uh, a win for the Giants and uh, an invest bet for entertainment purposes only. Uh, look, uh, when when you go across the pond like that, I, I'm saying, okay, which team has more talent? And the Giants do. I'm going to go with the team that, that has the most talent, and I'm, I think they'll win it, and that's why I'm confident in it. How about the Jets? I, again, another one I, I can't believe you're going to pay attention to. They're a one-point favorite over the Ravens. We're looking at Geno Smith against Ryan Mallon. Maybe. <laughs> well... I've been struggling so much on these large spreads that I decided, hey, let's go with some small spreads. The Jets are a mess. There's no question about it. They just booted Fitzpatrick in favor of Geno Smith. Um, I just feel like the Jets will elevate their play uh, for Geno coming back. And, um, you know, the Ravens are nothing, really. So (laughs) why not the Jets in that situation? That's basically my philosophy. It seems like that is the rationale. Why not? So let's go with the Falcons. You like the Falcons, six and a half point favorite at home over the Chargers. Yeah, I'm fully buying the Falcons offense now after kind of dissing them a couple for a couple of weeks. Uh, I love them back at home. Um, you know, in the way they're playing, the way Ryan's throwing the ball, uh, unbelievable amounts of confidence. And I'm also anticipating uh, the Chargers bubble to burst. I mean, Phil Rivers is doing a great job with, you know, an injury-riddled uh, group, but I, I think it's about time that the Chargers struggled. Yeah, see if that defensive pressure can get to Rivers, if the Falcons can dial it up as they've been able to do so over the past few weeks. Getting a little better on that side. And Monday night, you're not so confident in Brock Osweiler coming into Denver, huh? No, that's probably the the best uh, quote unquote bet that I have for the week. Uh, I think Denver is ripping and snorting. They're furious with themselves for losing two straight. They'll be at home, and of course, they get the opportunity to uh, run over their former quarterback Osweiler. So, I think it's going to be a very tough task for Brock Osweiler to come in to Denver and win. Uh, I wasn't impressed by the Texans at home against Indy uh, the previous week. So uh, I like Denver to, to win that game by plenty. All right. Dennis Bandeloff, Cleveland.com, Cleveland Plain Dealer. His sure things for week seven. Good talking, and Good luck.